Hi everybody, my name is Sasha and I've just joined Starker Disease Support Group and I thought it will be easier to record a video to introduce myself and tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, been diagnosed with Starker disease at the age of 20. Uh, it's 18 years ago now, I'm 38. And uh, since then, uh, kind of, I didn't take it, um, I guess, seriously. Uh, there was quite a lot of denial as well. So, and I just lived my life, um, you know, with it, without uh, thinking of it too much. Uh, about five years ago, after having kids, uh, and also having a stressful job, the progression started. And I think it's also started after um, I visited the doctor and the doctor also put a certain diagnosis in it and say, okay, five, seven years uh, more, and then that's it. So uh, at this point in time, and that might relate to quite a lot of you as well. Um, yeah, there was the amount of fear and stress and depression that um, kind of it brought in me was um, quite hard to overcome and bear. I didn't really want to do anything anymore. So I didn't want the job. I didn't want to progress in my career. I didn't really care about the family also as much as anymore. So because all I so it was pitch black <laughs> uh, as a future uh, until I actually came across by complete chance uh, theta healing and it, it's a healing technique that uses the, um, uh, the, the, the energy and also um, working on the belief system and just by complete chance and the first session I've done it was exactly on my eyes um, at that time, it was even hard for me to tell anyone that I, what I have, uh, uh, you know, at work, it was always kind of, you know, using the 400 Zoom and when people come to me and ask why you're so close to your screen, I would be, well, you know, that's the way I see and they say, well, put the glasses on. And, uh, well, it, you know, nobody at work even knew what I have because I was quite scared to tell anyone. And... Um, yeah, because I thought maybe, you know, if they find out what I have, I wouldn't be working in that place anymore. But again, so this is something that I went through. And um, as I said, they might relate to a lot of you as well. So Theta Healing, I came across uh, about two years ago. And I've done my first session on this. And I realized after the session that there is a lot of things that I could do and there is a lot of things um, you know I could see and I could still do and this gave me a, such a boost of energy and that it changed my life also 360 degrees I no longer worked in in that company so I went to study this healing technique and I straight away went to paint uh, painting is something that I really loved, but I never could um, have the courage to paint because there was no point. What's the point yeah, to paint if it's going to be over soon? So these feelings of fear and these kind of self-limiting beliefs were gone after the first session. And suddenly I just saw, uh, instead of the pitch black, I saw that there is a lot of colors. There is a lot of things could be done. And... I went to study these healing techniques and um, last September I actually started to heal myself, I started to heal people and I started to do life coaching and um, it ha I, I, I now add value to people and help them to overcome depression, anxiety, fears and feel complete and love and wholesome again. And it, as regards to my disease, it's, I no longer look at it as a disease. I embraced it and I feel wholesome. In the beginning, of course, in, at the back of my mind was a lot of it. Well, I have to heal, I have to heal. So I have to heal and prove that I can heal others. But now I just got to the point where 
yes, it's the certain, you know, discomfort and disorder that I experience, but there is a reason for that. And, uh, and I work on it and I constantly every day by um, doing what I love, by enjoying my life, by enjoying every day, I heal. And I noticed the progress as well. So I started to read the small, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the stickers on the um, products uh, when you buy them in a shop uh, about the ingredients. So just the small things like this, but that gives me uh, uh, a hope that it can be actually healed. And even if it's not healed, so I no longer feel that I am attached to this and that defines who I am. I enjoy my life, I do what I like, I paint, and I, I have my clients, I teach yoga, completely different life to compare to you, what I used to have. And I joined this group because inside me I, I, I felt the calling that it, you know, it might resonate with a lot of you and I might be able to help you as well. So I'm still figuring out how I can help you and how I can support you. But just by having each other in our lives, I guess we could um, you know, help each other uh, much more. And so I'm here now and I'm very happy to join the group and uh, feel free to ask me any questions. And uh, I'm here so you could uh, uh, contact me directly you can write the comments and uh, I will also probably will be posting uh, further videos just to share my experiences and uh, maybe give some tools as well that can help you to overcome the, the hopelessness and helplessness the you know and the self-pity or fears and, and anxiety and, dep and depressions that you might feel uh, due to the condition and that in turn might help you as well to um, have a different per perception and different perspective on your life and maybe have a new beginning as well. Thank you so much and I'm very happy to be part of it. Thank you.